Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a hand aid use on and you want to know what are the symptoms of jump timing. That could be jump timing chain or timing uh, belt, but most of them use timing chains. So stay with us and we'll explain what are the symptoms and what you can, uh, what you can experience. That will work on multiple generation years and engines of hand aid use on. Now, before we start, let me tell you guys, every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, something else. If you need to buy any parts and tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, with that being said guys, okay, let's explain now the symptoms of jump timing. We have that engine here, okay, and uh, now we're not going, we have a special video that explains how to verify if the timing jumped on hand aid use on. It will teach you how to check if the timing jumped. But that chain, guys, you can see, if the timing chain jumps one tooth on, on either of the camshafts, it's going to affect your engine. First, okay, if it jumps all the way, if it jumps three, four teeth or the wrong, or the wrong direction, which can bend valves, okay, uh, what can happen your engine will not start you may lose compression or if you still have compression the timing will be off and the engine will not start and it may be backfiring while you're trying to start it you'll hear noises popping noises coming from the exhaust the intake manifold and it even actually can make your intake manifold practically explode guys number two if it just jumps a little bit let's say a tooth or two the engine may still run we've had that happen before okay it may run and we had a bmw that jumped with three or four teeth and it still ran but it was really bad the engine was dying okay or as if it wasn't dying it was uh, uh, it was working really rough okay we had codes relating to uh, jump timing or problems with the variable timing which is uh, could be anything from code p0010 to code p0017 all these eight codes guys uh, now another thing you will hear noises from the exhaust popping Okay, backfiring. You will notice that your car is lacking power. Let's say you're driving down the road and all of a sudden you press the accelerator to pass somebody or accelerate, the car will like kind of like slow down, it will be sluggish and it can backfire and they then start running again. Okay, that could be symptoms of bad uh, timing chain, uh, jump timing chain on your hand day Tucson, guys. If you suspect that, never drive your car okay with jump timing chain because if it jumps more, you can severely damage your engine. Another thing that uh, uh, that could happen, you may hear noises coming from the timing chain. For instance, if the timing chain tensioner or uh, one of the uh, tensioner arm or the timing chain guide fail, uh, fails, what happens, the chain will develop a slack. So if you hear a rattling noise, noises coming from the timing chain components, okay, uh, most likely you have a problem there. So don't drive it, stop it immediately at a safe place and fix it as soon as you can. We have a video that explains code rattle noise okay uh, rattle noise on cold start on hand you on that's the first sign of a failing timing chain so all that will be on our channel hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching and see you next time